Hello, YouTube family. I'm Patty Jackson. I'm your auntie of pop culture. I go by the nickname Ginger, I love to say. It's not cute not knowing. Let's start with a hug. I did not feel good yesterday. Yesterday was a press on day, and I realized it with, oh, you forgot the hug in the beginning. I, I was tired. I'm the type I do. I need off the day after the holiday with cooking and doing family stuff. But I'm here, and we are ready. It's not cute not knowing. Now it's time to know. Can we start off talking babies? Big congrats to actor Mike Epps, actor, comedian Mike Epps. He and his wife are expecting baby number two. He is currently starring in a great show on Netflix, The Upshaws, with Kim Thilt and Wanda Sykes. And he's a new movie coming out in 10 days, June 11th, Meet the Blacks, The House Next Door. He's teaming up with Cat Williams, a crew of funny people. I don't know whether to, do you laugh or do you get scared? Because it really reminds you of The Exorcist. But Mike Epps is on a roll. That movie is coming out and he and his wife are expecting baby number two. Tiffany Haddish, in a recent interview, revealed she's ready to be a mom. Now, she has talked about this for a while. She grew up in the foster care system. Now she's ready to be a mom. She is thinking of adopting and really leaning towards that way. I think that's going to be really good for her. Essence Music Festival is going to be virtual this year, and it's headlined by Philadelphia's own Jasmine Sullivan. There'll also be a night with DJ Khaled and friends. Also, Kirk Franklin and all of his friends, but it's all going to be virtual. I'm going to be participating in the Essence Festival via um, the makers of Tylenol as I talk about my stroke journey. They're going to let me know when we start filming. Mike Tyson, did you guys watch The Knockout? If you didn't, it's streaming now on Hulu. It is a very comprehensive look on his life, but I was wondering, at what point did he just kind of like mellow out? Because he, he had a lot of anger and just a lot of issues with him, and he credits magic mushrooms. The psychedelic mushrooms, he credits them for kind of like keeping him chill. I didn't know if it was the pigeons or the chill or the, or the, he had the pigeons. Then he says it's the mushrooms, or could it be his wonderful wife? who is a blessing in his life and one of the best things he could have ever did by marrying Kiki. I wish that couple stay together, stay together in an era where people are, are breaking up. Brad Pitt and Andrew Day. Brad Pitt had a major court victory. Married to Angelina Jolie. She's giving him hell with them six kids. He can now have joint custody of the kids. And Angelina Jolie is mad. Brad is out here single and just, they say he's had his eye on singer Andrew Day for quite a while. Andrew Day has a boyfriend, but y'all know how y'all youngins are. I'm single until I get married. So, so who knows? They exchange numbers at the Academy of Music. So maybe they'll work on a project together, but who knows? Andrew Day, the United States versus Billie Holiday. She was amazing, and she's also a great singer. Mary J. Blige, there's a new documentary coming out on her. She was inducted into the Apollo Theater Hall of Fame over the weekend. My Life is the documentary. The year was 1994, and Mary J. Blige, just entering the music business, she had been through a lot. Dating KC from Jodeci. He drove her crazy. Uh, she dealt with abuse and mental health and addiction, and she did not love herself. But she made this incredible album, My Life. It's being documented as she talks about her career. Puffy, Diddy, whatever his name is, he's one of the executive producers. But it's this look at the life of Mary J. Blige. I, I love her. I have interviewed her from the beginning, because in the beginning, she wasn't all glammed out. She didn't have a glam team. And she was just trying to, like, find her footing in what she should do. And she didn't have a lot of self-confidence. But I, I give Puffy credit. There was no one who sounded like her. And she was so different. And you just think of the songs. And then you think of, like, a butterfly, how she has just come out of her cocoon and, and grown. June 25th, y'all, it starts 
streaming on Amazon Prime, an amazing look at her life. Yesterday, I couldn't get the names right for Corella. It's Emma Stone and Emma Thompson. The Emmas are something else. Have you ever watched a movie? And you're like, I want to see this. Or what was this about? And you're just so pleasantly surprised at how good it is that you, you just sit there like, I kept saying, I kept saying, is this a Disney movie? This, this Disney, this Disney. And in my house, you know, when we do movie nights, and the weather was terrible in the East Coast, so it was like, oh, we're doing a movie night today. I lost the, the, the straw. My straw came up short. So they were like, we're watching Cruella. And I did not want to see it. I didn't. Wait, I didn't want to pay the extra. I didn't want to do none of it. I'm so glad I did because it was excellent and it was one of the best movies I've seen in a long time. And the fashions, child. Emma Thompson. Whew, the fashions, her shoes, just... I just, I just loved it all. It was just a really good, good movie. And the story of Cruella DeVille. Actor Jonathan Majors, we know him from Lovecraft Country on HBO. You may have seen him in Spike Lee's The Five Bloods. He was in The Last Black Man in San Francisco, which came out a couple of years ago. He's going to be in a new Netflix black western called The Harder They Fall. He's going to be King the Conqueror in the new Ant-Man and the Wasp Marvel movie. Now they're saying that actor Jonathan Majors is going to be the opponent against Michael B. Jordan in Creed 3. Filming is going to start real soon on Creed 3. No, there will be no Sylvester Stallone, Michael B. Jordan is going to be directing and it's coming together. And it looks like actor Jonathan Majors is going to be his ne nemesis in the ring, um, fighting and taking on the young Apollo Creed. That movie is due out sometime next year, but we're getting details. I know Felicia Rashad's coming back and Tessa Thompson is coming back. Of course, Michael B. Jordan, but this is his first time directing, so this is going to be good. If it's pop culture and entertainment, I got you covered. I'm Patty Jackson. Thanks so much for joining me. Hit the notification button so you'll know when a video pops up. Leave a comment because Auntie does read the comments, and if you like it, give us a thumbs up. And for the racists who can't stand me, someone says, how do you be getting a thumbs down and the video just popped up? I said, oh, it's probably somebody I had to, like, snatch up and, like, we don't do that over here. We don't do it over here. We, we go, we're going to be nice. You ain't got to agree with everything I talk about or like, but we're going to be nice. You're not going to call me out of my name, and we're just all going to get get along so well. I do that with a smile. Have a good one, everybody. I tell you, when I do write a book, it will be, it's a, there will be a part about my experiences um, doing this and how this, this whole dream and everything came together. It's not cute not knowing. And now you know. Thanks for joining me. I'm Patty Jackson. I'm your auntie of pop culture.